welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I'm super excited. I am sharing with you a massive Costco haul. We went to Costco today. We spent $500 or $523 or something like that at Costco. So we have a major grocery haul to share with you. We got groceries, we got some clothing items, we got a lot of great stuff. So I wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys like seeing those type of videos, I know I love seeing what other groceries people like to buy and all that stuff. So we have a lot of healthy foods because we are on a healthy eating kick in our house. We're starting to work out again. We're starting to try to eat better and all that. So a lot of healthy foods we got going on. A lot of new things that we found at Costco. Some not so healthy items because you gotta live a little, you gotta splurge sometimes. So I'm gonna share it all with you. If you guys are new here, my name's Cassidy. I am a mom of two young kiddos. I have a daughter, Brooklyn, five. I have a son, Brayden, two. I love to do mommy content. I love to do shopping videos, cooking videos, hauls, um, cleaning and decorating videos, all that type of stuff. So if you're interested, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you're new. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy seeing Costco hauls. That way I will know to film more of these. This is my first ever Costco haul that I'm sharing with you guys. We do Costco hauls like once every three, months or so so if you want to see them let me know and i will be sure to share them with you so let's get into the haul and let me show you everything i got i will include prices if you're interested in prices as well so let's get into it all right guys i'm gonna start over here with the produce items because i feel like this is the healthy stuff this is a bunch of great items that costco always has they're great prices this is not all of the produce that we will go through um we will go to Aldi to get whatever else we need, but this is what we decided to get at Costco. So we have a big, huge 10 pound bag of yellow onions. We love to cook with onions. We're always eating onions. So this 10 pound bag of onions at Costco is amazing. I also might make some French onion soup with this. So I'm gonna need a lot of onions with that. We got the broccoli florets. They're always a staple in our house. My kids are obsessed with broccoli. Broccoli is probably our favorite vegetable to eat with our dinners. So we got the whole big, huge thing of broccoli. We have some blueberries and these blueberries look amazing. They're nice, big and juicy blueberries. So my kids love them. They, My daughter will only eat the really big blueberries. So I made sure I found a pack that had a bunch of big blueberries in them. So she'll be happy. I also got these gorgeous strawberries. They look so juicy and delicious. I plan on making some chocolate covered strawberries for Valentine's Day with these. And also obviously just eating them plain as regular strawberries. My kids also like to eat them with whipped cream, so we'll probably do that as well. I got some bananas because bananas are always a staple in our house. My kids love them. I also picked up these um, clementines, I guess they are. I don't know if they just say sweet, juicy, and easy peel. They don't say the name of the fruit, but they're just clementines. Super simple, but these are amazing. Super juicy, great source of vitamin C, especially in the winter months when you're trying to not get a cold or get sick or anything like that. These are always a great item to have. I also picked up these bell peppers. I love bell peppers. My husband and I cook with bell peppers all the time. So I figured this little bell pepper pack will be great. Also for the Super Bowl or like the big game, I plan on making a taco dip with the bell peppers and stuff. So it's a really simple, super easy. It's a super simple recipe, but it's delicious. So I'm probably gonna make that for the Super Bowl. Over here are the meats that we got and some like lunch items that we got for the kids. So we got their bone in pork chops. They're like the pork loin and rib loin chops. $2.29 a pound, which I think is a great deal. So it was only $13.47 for all of these. And I think there's 10 chops in there and they're a great thickness. I've gotten chops from Aldi before, but they're really thin and they're not very good. They're very fatty, but Costco pork chops never fail to impress me. They're always so delicious. Don't mind my nails. Look how bad they look. I still only have my one pinky on each hand painted from when I got my nails done around Christmas time. It's all right. That's mom life. I don't have time to take care of my nails. It's my least priorities don't mind them of course you cannot go to costco without getting a rotisserie chicken they are amazing they're juicy they're delicious very easy simple dinner um sometimes we just eat it as a chicken or sometimes i shred it up and put it in like a pasta dish or make a soup or something with it but you can't go wrong with costco rotisserie chickens my kids also love the purdue panko uh, chicken breast nuggets so we got them that's a quick and easy lunch for them 
This is a new item that I have never seen or tried there before. These are fully cooked chicken sausage. So I'm hoping they're good. My husband and I like to have like breakfast sausage in the morning. They have 10 grams of protein in them. They're 75% less fat than uh, pork sausage. So I figured this would be a good alternative to pork sausage since we're trying to eat a little bit better. Um, maybe that will help us eat a little bit healthier in the morning instead of having pork sausage. Hopefully they're good. We're going to try them tomorrow because I am making um, a Valentine's Day themed breakfast charcuterie board kind of thing. So we're going to try them. I will let you know how they are. We also got these Just Bear Nuggets. If you have not tried these, they're very similar to Chick-fil-A Nuggets. They don't taste exactly the same, but they're like the same type of texture and everything. And they're absolutely incredible. I throw a few in my air fryer, put them in a salad for my lunch every day, and they are amazing. So I have been very excited to get them because I've been out of them for a very long time. So I was very excited to get to Costco to pick up my Just Bear Nuggets. We also got some chicken tenderloins. I am making chicken tonight for dinner. This is a six pound bag of Costco's chicken tenderloins. Just frozen chicken breast, super simple to just thaw out when you need it and all of that. So that's always a staple in our house when we're grocery shopping. Typically I get the chicken breast from Aldi, which I will still get the actual chicken breast from Aldi when I go there, but I picked up the tenderloins at Costco. They weren't a bad deal for six pounds of them. So I figured I would get those. My kids are absolutely obsessed with Panera Mac and Cheese, so we picked up the two-pack. They're like these big containers of the Panera Mac and Cheese for them. They'll have this with their chicken nuggets for lunch or something, and they will be thrilled. So we got those for them. I aim to please with my kids, and hopefully that will make them happy. It's also much cheaper buying it this way than going to Panera with the kids and buying it that way, because Panera, if you don't know, costs an arm and a leg when you go there. We also picked up some Hebrew National Beef hot dogs. We like to have these, especially now that the weather is starting to get a little bit nicer where I live. It's getting a little bit warmer out. It's starting to feel more like spring. So I feel like sooner than later, we're gonna start grilling again. And we always like to have hot dogs on hand when we do that. And you get a four pack of these, so it's a pretty darn good deal for that. We also got some spices because when you're cooking on the grill, you always want to have good seasonings. Garlic salt is a staple in our house. We literally go through this stuff like nothing else. We put this on our broccoli. We put it on chicken. Like literally I use this instead of typical salt with my seasonings because I don't know. I just like adding garlic to things anyway. I think it just tastes better. So we always use garlic salt instead of regular salt. If a recipe calls for regular salt, I use garlic salt instead. So we needed to get a big one of those because we did run out the other day and I could not believe we had no more. And then we found these. We've never tried these before, but I've heard good things about them. They're the Kinder's brand. So we got the blend, which is salt, pepper, and garlic. And then my husband got this one. It's the wood fire garlic one. So hopefully they'll be good. Um, I, I mean, you can use them for whatever. So hopefully they'll be good. I mean, you can't really go wrong with the salt, pepper, and garlic. That's like a no-brainer. I'm not really sure what this is, but it says it has garlic in it. So you can never go wrong with garlic, in my opinion. And this is just like the little breakfast section. So we got some pancake mix, um, the crusties one, because they're super simple to make. All you have to do is add some water. It's great when I'm in a pinch and I am low on groceries. We typically try to only go grocery shopping like once every two months or so. Yes, we'll go to the store and fill in like with produce and stuff during that time, but we like to do a big grocery haul every two months. So these are great when we're running low on groceries and I don't have like eggs and butter and all that stuff. So I can make my kids pancakes for breakfast, just add some water to it and I'm good to go. We also picked up some butter. I mean, we picked up quite a bit of butter. This is like the only way you can buy it at Costco, but I need it for a recipe for dinner tonight and I did not feel like running to Aldi today because the Costco line was absolutely insane. So it took much longer there than I anticipated. So I just figured I'd pick up the butter there. So I got tons of butter four pounds of butter to be exact we also picked up the kodiak cakes these are amazing i love these these are not as easy to make as the crusties one you need a little bit more ingredients to make these uh, you need some like milk or an egg and all that stuff but we are making waffles tomorrow for a valentine's day themed breakfast we are celebrating on sunday instead of on valentine's day just because my kids have school valentine's day my husband has work it'll be a lot less rushed if we do it tomorrow and of course i picked up some eggs 24 eggs from costco they're always a great deal there so we needed some of them we still had a couple so normally i get the five dozen pack of eggs but we didn't need five dozen because i still have some in my refrigerator so i just picked up 24 this time 
Over here, I got some polar seltzer water. This one has ruby red grapefruit. It has the, what is this one? Cranberry lime, regular lime, and then black cherry flavored. I don't think I've ever had that kind, but they sounded good. I love seltzer water, so. I picked that up. It was actually a really good deal for this. And I was surprised this brand, the Polar brand, was cheaper than the Kirkland Costco brand, which was crazy in my opinion. But so I picked this up instead of the Kirkland brand. But I'm hoping that all of these flavors are delicious. They sound delicious. So I love salsa water. I'm really not picky when it comes to salsa water. So it'll be fine. Here's a look at all of the snacks that we got. We always go through snacks like crazy in our house. We get the kids don't eat as healthy of the snacks as we do. So we picked up a bunch of stuff for the kids. They are obsessed with cheese sticks and typically I get cheese sticks from Aldi, um, but they have been out of them for like the past three months, every single time I go there. So I picked them up at Costco today. They will have cheese sticks for a very, very long time. There's 48 snack sticks in here, so that's perfect. They also love these applesauce squeezy pouches. So I picked those up for them. My um, my son will have this and like a cheese stick and some chicken nuggets for lunch every day if I give it to him and he'll be thrilled. So that's an easy lunch idea to give them. My son is also obsessed with these Little Bites um, muffins. So we got him those just as a special treat. There's 20 pouches inside of here. So it's a lot better deal than it is at the grocery store. So we did pick those up while we were there. He will have them as like a little snack before breakfast or after breakfast or something like that. And He's thrilled. So my husband picked up this Flamin' Hot Mix. These are things that he's gonna take to work because nobody else in my house likes anything spicy. So he's gonna take these to work and him and his buddies at work are gonna share them, but he got all of them. It's like 54 bags in here, which I feel like it's a good deal. I think it was like 17.49. I'll leave the price up at the top to be exact so you know exactly what they're costing, but he was really excited to find that. He loves everything spicy. He's been in a hot sauce kick lately, so he was thrilled to find that. Another staple in my house are these Stacy's pita chips. We absolutely love these. We will have um, lunch, like a small, like little lunch or snack with them. We'll do pita chips, we'll do grapes, and we'll do, um, we'll do cut up sharp cheddar cheese. And it is absolutely delicious. So if you haven't tried that little mixture together, try it, you won't be sorry. So we picked up some pita chips because we've been out of those. This is a new item that I picked up. I was influenced by Kim from the Wads to get these. She said I wouldn't be disappointed. So Kim, I'm taking your word for it. I cannot wait to try these. They look amazing. I love Girl Scout Thin Mint cookies. So Girl Scout Thin Mint pretzels, I had to try it. I could not help myself. This is obviously a little bit more of a treat item. I mean, they're not the worst for you, I guess, but I don't know. This is more of like an after dinner treat, so. I'm going to reward myself when I work out and have a couple of them after dinner. This is another item we got for my kids. This is just an easy, simple thing that we can pack for them for a snack. If we're going to the playground or going somewhere in the car, something to like have with us on hand is a great thing for them. So you get 40 packs of these. It has like the assortment of cookies and crackers and all that. And I think they're going to love them. My husband and I also really like these Nature Valley protein bars. I will eat these sometimes as like a breakfast substitute in the morning, or I'll eat them like with like some fruit or something like that as like a little breakfast item. I don't know. It just sometimes when I'm in a rush and I'm on the go, either I won't eat breakfast or I can have these in my pantry and I can grab them. And they seem to be really helpful for me because it forces me to at least eat something. And at least I'm getting some protein in my diet with it. This is a new item that I have never tried or seen at Costco. I'm not sure if it's actually new there, but my husband actually had these before at his work vending machine. They have like a healthy foods vending machine at his office and he tried these and he said he loves them. So we picked them up. I'm actually really excited to try them. I love fig bars. I love fig newtons and stuff. And you get 36 twin packs and there's a whole bunch of different flavors. There's like a raspberry, a blueberry, and I don't know what the other one is natural fig I think it says I don't know but hopefully they're good they sound good they look good so hopefully they are all right we picked up these soft and chewy granola bars for my kids I feel like my son will like them he likes anything that has any type of chocolate in them so I mean obviously they are sweet they're oatmeal my kids like oatmeal so I figured they'll like those granola bars it's like a little little bit of a healthier alternative than giving them like a cookie or something so 
hopefully they will enjoy those. We got this whole pack and this comes with 64 bars in it. So that's a really good deal. And then the last snack item that we got are these popcorn, like chip things, I guess they are. They're called popcorners. I have never had these before. We figured we'd try them. We figured they're a little bit healthier than having just plain old chips with like a sandwich or something or as a snack. So this comes with 28 snack bags. It comes with sea salt, white cheddar, and sweet and salty kettle corn, which I love kettle corn. And I also love white cheddar popcorn. So hopefully these will be really good. They, I have high hopes for them. And hopefully they'll make me want chips less than usual. So hopefully they will help me out on my healthy eating journey. All right, over here is just some random things that we got. I got this big thing of OxyClean. This was actually on sale this week and I just ran out of OxyClean because I just soaked my rug in my living room in OxyClean and I used all of it. So I needed some more OxyClean. I also picked up these Mr. Clean Magic Erasers because um, there's spots all over my house. If you guys know you have kids, there's fingerprints, there's food. Also with my dog, there's stuff all over the walls. And I'm hoping, oh, also my daughter just wrote a B on our front door the other day because she wanted to write a B for Brooklyn and Brayden, which is what their names are. <laughs> so um, she wrote it in pen so I couldn't, it wouldn't come off very easily. So I'm hoping the magic eraser will get that off. But you get 11 erasers in here and you get four extra durable, three kitchen ones and four bath ones. So hopefully that will help get my house a little bit less spotty which would be great. I also picked up these command strips. These are always amazing to have on hand. I hang all of my pictures. Everything in my house that is hung up basically is I'm using these for and I ran out of them and these are actually on sale at Costco. I think they're $10 for 34 pairs, which is amazing. My dog wants to see if there's anything for him. Ollie bear, there's nothing for you here. Hi, you trying to say hi to everybody? You trying to say hi to our friends? Say hello friends. Next up is this youth hooded fleece sleeper. I picked this up for my daughter. She is obsessed with unicorns. So it has this like unicorn like hood. It's super soft. She has um, a hooded sleeper thingy that she got from Target that is like a Jojo Siwa brand, but she's outgrown it quite a bit and she still squeezes herself into it because she loves it so much and doesn't want to give it up. So I figured maybe if I got her a new one that is her size, she's only five, but she's in basically a size eight to 10, but I got size 10 to 12. So it would be bigger and it would fit her longer. She's huge. She is so tall. She's really big for her age. So I wanted to size up because I feel like she grows out of everything so quickly, but this was absolutely adorable. It's like purple, which is her favorite color. That's what it looks like. So I think she'll love that. I might give this to her tomorrow for Valentine's day. And then this is my massive pile of clothing that I got. I got so many pairs of leggings. I don't even know how many pairs I kind of lost track. My husband also got two pairs of like these jogger pants. So that's what his joggers look like. I got these spider active leggings. These are so soft to the touch. I haven't put them on yet, but I love that they have pockets. I love that they are so soft. They feel so cozy. I got a couple different pairs of those. I got these gray ones of the Kirkland brand too. I thought these were absolutely adorable. They're kind of like this gray color. They're, these are also super soft and they also have pockets, which I love i mean you wouldn't think you want pockets and leggings but it's so convenient just to like slip your phone in there or whatever like especially when i'm taking my dog out for a walk if i could just slip my phone in the pocket but yeah my husband got these i also got this green pair of the costco ones like i said these are super soft so i'm hoping that they're really comfortable when i put them on my husband also got this champion um, men's crew neck sweatshirt he likes champion stuff so this was a really good price so I, he got that i got this kirkland um sweatshirt this like crew neck sweatshirt and i got a size medium typically i'm a size small but i like my sweatshirts kind of oversized and this was super soft it's kind of got this like fleecy i don't know if you could see it but it's like this fleecy material inside it's super soft i love it so much so i got that and i really liked the color of this it's kind of like a a green ish color but i don't know i loved it so much so I got that. Here's a look at the other joggers that my husband got. They're like this gray color. They're super nice. So he got those. 
I also picked up these Skechers leggings. As you can see, they got like these like flower details on them. Um, we're getting a gym membership really soon to Planet Fitness. So I wanted to get some workout leggings that I can wear to the gym. These won't be like my everyday leggings that I wear. Some of them will be, but not these ones. But these will be perfect for the gym. They seem really nice. But these were actually on sale for only like $6 or they were like $6.97 or something. Again, I will leave the price up at the top. But I mean, you can't beat that. They're high-waisted. I love high-waisted leggings. They suck everything in correctly and all of that. So especially when you have two kids, you want everything sucked in. But I thought these would be perfect for the gym. I also just got a regular pair of black Skechers leggings as well. So they were also the $6.97, which is a great deal. Sorry, my dog is barking at somebody. And this last item I picked up here is this beautiful plant. I bought it for myself for Valentine's Day. My husband fought me on it. He did not want me to get it, but I could not not get it. Hydrangeas were actually the flower that we used in our wedding. They're beautiful. I love the color. We actually use this exact color. We use these and purple hydrangea in our wedding, like bouquets and stuff. So I love these so much. They just remind me of our wedding, but it comes with like this little like ivy garden and it's just, it's so pretty. So I had, I couldn't help myself. And look at this cute little container it comes in, this little planter. It's got like little pink details on it. I don't know, I just think it's beautiful. It reminds me of spring. It makes me think spring. So I loved it so much, so I got it. This was like 25 bucks. I don't think that's a bad deal for like a whole planter full of flowers and all that. So it was worth it in my opinion. But that is all for my Costco haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys liked this video, Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're new. I gotta go put all this crap away now because my cold things are probably thawing out and getting warm now, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching guys, bye.